Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the building of the butterfly diagram for a four point DIT FFT algorithm. That is, we want to build the butterfly diagram for a four point decimation in time FFT, that is, fast Fourier transform algorithm. So, given a sequence x of n that has four values x of n and n is from 0 to 3 and we want to find the four point DFT that is we want to find x of k where k is from 0 to 3 that is we want to find those four values of x of k. So, for this purpose we are going to use uh, DIT FFT algorithm that is decimation in time FFT algorithm that is fast Fourier trans. So, for this purpose we have to consider the uh, following equations that is x of k can be written as f of k or f 1 of k plus x of k is equal to f 1 of k plus w n k f 2 of k where the values of k are from 0 to 1 that is since n is equal to 4 the values of k are from 0 to 4 by 2 minus 1 that is 0 to 1. So, x of k is equal to f 1 of k plus w n k w and k f 2 of k. Therefore, x of 0 is f 1 of 0 plus and w n power 0 that is w 4 power 0 is 1. So, it is f 2 of 0. Similarly, x of k equal to 1. So, x of 1 is f 1 of 1 and then w n that is w 4 power 1 is uh, w 4 power 1 is basically e power minus j 2 pi by 4 which is nothing but minus 1 j. So, this should be plus w 4 1 f 2 of 1. Similarly, we also have we also have x of k plus n by 2 equal to f 1 of k minus w n k f 2 of k. So, based on this one x of k equal to 0 and k is again from 0 to 1. So, for k equal to 0 this will be uh, 0 plus 4 by 2 that is 0 plus 2 that is x of 2 will be equal to f 1 of 0 and then and then w 4 power 0 is again 1. So, it is minus f 2 of 0. Similarly, x of 3 that is uh, x of 1 plus 2 that is x of 3 is equal to f 1 of 1 minus w 4 power 1 and then f 2 of 1. Now, let us map these values or these equations onto the butterfly diagram. So, uh, for the 4 point DFT that is a DIT FFT algorithm that is for the DIT FFT algorithm the inputs will be the inputs will be x of 0, x of 2, x of 1, x of 3. We will verify that. But the outputs will be definitely x of 0, x of 1, x of 2 and x of 3. So, those are the four outputs in the correct order. Now, the relation between x of uh, these outputs and the uh, inputs from the that is inputs for this stage are x of 0 is equal to f 1 of 0 plus f 2 of 0. So, we have f 1 of 0 here, f 2 1 of 1 here, here we have f 2 of 0 and then f 2 of 1. So, from these results x of 0 is f 1 of 0 plus f 2 of 0. So, x of 0 is f 1 of 0 plus f 2 of 0. So, that is satisfied. Now, x of 1 is f 1 of 1 plus w 4 1 f 2 of 1 that is f 1 of 1 here and then f 2 of 1 here and then we have w here we multiply with w 4 1 and here we multiply with w 4 0 which is basically 1. So, here we have w 4 1 as a weight a value it is as a weight. So, f 2 of 1 into w 4 1 plus f 1 of 1 gives us x of 1. So, that is what we have here. Next we have x of 2 x of 2 is f 1 of 0 minus f 2 of 0. So, we have f of 0 minus f 2 of 0. So, this is a weight minus 1 here. So, f 1 of 0 minus f 2 of 0 and then w of 4 of power 0 is 1. So, f 1 of 0 minus f 2 of 0 is x of 2 and finally, 
x of 3 is f1 of 1 minus the weight w 4 power 1 into f2 of 1. So, we have f2 of 1 and my, uh, minus minus of w41 multiplied by f2 of 1. So, that is x of 3. Now, go, uh, now we have to go back by one more stage or we have to uh, decimate by one more step. So, now the next step is to figure out the relation between this f1 of case and f2 of case with the inputs uh, x of 0 to x of 3. So, for that purpose we need the uh, decimation equations or the relations for this stage that is we have f1 of k equals v11 of k plus wn by 2 power k v12 of k and the value of k is only 0. So, that means f1 of 0 is equal to v11 of 0 and then uh, w2 power 0 is 1. So, we have v12 of 0. So, that is f1 of 0 and then we have and then we have f1 of 1 equals v11 of 0 minus w2 power 0 that is again 1 and then v12 of 0. So, that is f1 of 1 relation between f1 of 1 and v1 of 1 1 of 0 and v12 of 0. Similarly, similarly we can have relations between f2 of 0 and v okay. so f2 of 0 is v21 of 0 and plus v w2 power 0 into v 2 2 of 0. Similarly, f 2 of 1 is v 2 1 of 0 minus w 2 power 0 v 2 2 of 0. So, that is the relation. Now, we have to figure out the relation between this v 1 1, v 1 2, uh, v 2 1 and v 2 2 to the actual inputs that is x of 0, x of 1, x of 2, x of 3. So, for that we need the following equations. Since v 1 1 of k is actually only one value that is v 1 1 of k is only one value that is v 1 1 of 0 will be actually equal to v 1 1 of 0 that is the value in the time domain. So, v 1 1 of 0 is by definition equal to f 1 of 0 and f 1 of 0 is by definition equal to x of 0 that is x of 2 n. So, it is x of 0 then similarly v 1 2 of 0 is again equal to the time domain value v 1 2 of 0 which is again f 1 of 1 which is x of 2. Similarly, v 2 1 of 0 is equal to the time domain value v 2 1 of 0 which is f 2 of 0 which is x of 1. Finally, v 2 2 of 0 will be v 2 2 of 0 in time domain and that means f 2 of 1 which is x of 3. So, we have the relations between this f 1 of k, f 2 of k with the actual time domain values. So, therefore, we have f 1 of 0 is equal to v 1 of 0 plus v 1 2 of 0. So, it must be x of 0 plus x of 2. So, that means f 1 of 0 is x of 0 plus x of 2. Similarly, f 1 of 1 will be equal to uh, v 1 of 0 minus v 1 2 of 0 that means x of 0 minus x of 2. So, there is therefore, f 1 of 1 is the difference and similarly we can write f 2 of 0 is equal to x of, x of 1 plus x of 3 and finally, f 2 of 1 is equal to x of 1 minus x of 3. So, based on these results we can go back to the uh, butterfly diagram and we can directly relate f 1 of 0 to x of 0 and x of 2. So, f 1 of 0 is the sum of these two values and then f 1 of 1 is x of 0 minus x of 2 and then f 2 of 0 is x of 1 plus x of 3. So, that means x of 1 and x of 3 and f 1 f 2 of 1 is x of 1 minus x of 3. So, it is minus. So, that is how we can construct the butterfly diagram for a 4 point DFT using the DIT FFT algorithm. So, to summarize we have looked at the development of the or building of the butterfly diagram for a 4 point DFT using the decimation in time fast Fourier transform algorithm. So, to start with we use the uh, equations for the DFT that is uh, we split the uh, x of k as f 1 of k plus w n power k into f 2 of k and this uh, value of k is from 0 to 1 and uh, 0 and 1. So, x of 0 is basically f 1 of 0 plus f 2 of 0 and x of 1 is 
f1 of 1 plus w4 power 1 into f2 of 1 and similarly the other two points that is x of k plus n by 2 that is x of 2 is f1 of 0 minus f2 of 0 and x of 3 is f1 of 1 minus w4 power 1 into f2 of 1. So based on these relations we can map them on the butterfly diagram that is x of 0 is 0 sorry x of 0 is f1 of 0 plus f2 of 0 and x of 1 is f1 of 1 plus f2 of 1 into w4 power 1 and x of 2 is f1 of 0 minus f2 of 0 and x of 3 is f1 of 1 minus w4 power 1 into f2 of 1. So that is what we have in the uh, second part of the uh, butterfly diagram. Now for the first part we have to figure out the relations between this f1 of case and f2 of case with the actual inputs. So for that we need the equations for the next uh, stage that is we have to split this f1 of case further that is f1 of k is v11 of k plus w n by 2 power k into v12 of k and that means f1 of 0 will be v1 v11 of 0 plus v12 of 0 and f1 of 1 will be v11 of 0 minus v12 of 0 and similarly f2 of 0 is v21 of 0 plus v22 of 0 and f2 of 1 will be the difference of these two and then finally we can figure out the relation between v11 of k or v2 of k and v21 of k and v22 of k where k is 0 to the actual inputs x of 0 to x of 3 and we found that v11 of 0 is x of 0 and v12 of 0 is x of 2 and v21 of 0 is x of 1 and v22 of 0 is x of 3. So we map these values back to the butterfly diagram that means f1 of 0 is x of 0 plus x of 2 f1 of 1 is their difference and f2 of 0 is the sum of x of 1 and x of 3 and f2 of 1 is the difference between x of 1 and x of 3. Thanks for watching.